My name's John, I'm the player welfare manager for the first team here at Hull KR. I look after the players, um, I liaise with the players, the players come and see me if they've got any issues. We look to put wellbeing plans together, we, we look to work with education, get the players into education, thinking about life after rugby league. Rugby was my outlet. Um, a lot of people I grew up with went, went the other way and didn't have rugby to, to, to help them along that path and, and they've turned out um, you know they've gone the wrong way about stuff and had trouble with the law and drugs etc and, and you know thankfully for me I, I had rugby to to take that that away and, and help me concentrate on something else and give me an outlet to to that aggression I suppose and that camaraderie and teammanship. When I started playing mental health was sort of like uh, seen as being soft if you if you had a poor mental health it was like a uh, stigma that around mental health, it just didn't exist, it was like, you just toughen up, whereas I think now people have a better understanding of what a poor mental health is and what a good mental health is, and I think it's good for the good for the game, but good for people in general, I think obviously as men as well, we struggle opening up at times, and um, you know, the more education that is done around mental health, especially in rugby league, I think it's only good for the players, you know, be able to perform at a better, better standard. Back in my day, as they say, um, there was no what you'd say official support it was just you know your mate helping you or like I said the support staff you know having a word with you or talking to you now there's there's actual dedicated welfare officers and welfare support staff there and OKR as a club are probably at the forefront of that stuff um, in John with the first team was very very hands-on and then of course we have Paula with our academy uh, who is you know, employed specifically for the academy and she does a tremendous job for us. Paula's come in to do a, an amazing role and um, what she's done so far, um, to, to be quite frankly, sensational. What she's done, what she's set up. What we're looking at now is really challenging, challenging staff, challenging players on their approach to welfare and well-being because we, we want it to be the norm within the club. We want well, well-being and welfare to just be the norm. So if somebody spots somebody that's acting a bit differently during the day, we'd like that person to be able to pick up on that. So there's a lot of staff development that we need to focus on to do that. And then we want to create an environment where we're looking at that whole person well-being, that we're enabling people to flourish and thrive within the roles. And that's not just players, that's on and off the pitch because if we've got happy people within their roles across, across the club, we'll have a thriving environment to get us to that top four, top one club. The ambition um, and, and the end goal uh, for Hull KR is, is to be the gold standard, the blueprint for welfare for Super League and beyond. Um, we do everything we put in place is for the players and staff, it's for the well-being, it's for the welfare. Um, but we don't we don't, don't want that to stop at, at rugby league. You know, if someone can take what we use as best practice in football, in hockey, in swimming, then we're happy to share what we do. Um, we're not precious. We just want welfare to be a really prominent thing within our sport and, and other sports.